Good morning. You're joining ITN News with me, Vibhuda Vijay Bandara. First, let's have a look at today's headlines. The President requests heads of research organizations to find ways and means to develop the country. The Army Commander urges the public to not panic over rumors regarding the coronavirus. Minister Amarvira says benefits of fuel price concessions will be given to the public. A Navy intelligence officer reveals that former CID director pressurized him. Countries around the world try to stem the coronavirus outbreak. And now for the full stories. President Gotabe Rajapaksa requested the heads of research organizations to find ways and means to uplift the country. He said since the current global economy is based on knowledge, ours should be developed centered around our workforce that can be easily trained. President Rajapaksa made these observations during a meeting held at the Presidential Secretariat yesterday with Chairman and Director Board members of state sector research entities. The President emphasized that conducting comprehensive researchers is crucial for economic development. The President said that his main objective is to ensure a higher standard of living for the lowest segment of society. President Rajapaksa emphasized that researchers should introduce new technologies to agriculture in order to free the underprivileged people from poverty. He also said it is imperative for researchers to identify accurately what the people need. He pointed out research need to be done to introduce new techniques to the agricultural sector as well as to the fisheries sector. He disclosed that even though there are many problems with the use of chemical fertilizers, the country still haven't been able to shift to use organic fertilizer. The president pointed out that the results of the researchers should be introduced as a product. Commander of Army Lieutenant General Shavendra Silva issuing a special statement urges the public not to panic over misleading rumors regarding the coronavirus. The Army commander said as shops only stock items needed for a day or two, buying large amounts of goods in one day might lead to shops running out of goods. He said this might lead to a fear among the public that there is a shortage of goods, although this is not the case. The Army commander said that there has been some misinformation that the public will be quarantined in their homes. He emphasized that the government has not taken such a decision. Minister Mahinda Marwira says that the method will be introduced to provide the benefits of fuel price concessions to the public. The minister was speaking during a press briefing at the Government Information Department yesterday. He said that he has given the information to the Cabinet Minister. To the cabinet. Minister Marwira further said that the government wants to maintain a stable price. He added that bus and three-wheel fares and other transport costs should be maintained according to that price. Navy Intelligence Officer Prasad Chandanehetti Arachi gave evidence before the Presidential Com Commission to inquire into political victimization. He said that former director of CID Shani Abesekara pressurized him. He said that Sa Shani Abesekara pressurized him to say, that present pre to say that the present president, who was then Defence Secretary and former Navy Commander Vasanta Karanagoda, were connected to the disappearance of 11 persons. Former Navy spokesman DKB Dasanayaka is scheduled to give com evidence before the Commission today. Minister of Education Dallas Alha Peruma says the first term holidays of all schools will commence from today. The decision to move the term holiday forward has been taken as a measure to prevent parents of students take parents of students from panicking over the spread of coronavirus. Accordingly, all schools in the island will be closed until 20th April. All private and international Catholic schools under the purview of the Archbishop will be closed from today. All Buddhist Dhamma schools will be closed until the 26th of April. Tuition masters island-wide have been requested not to conduct classes for a period of two weeks from today. 
All Islamic religious education institutes have been requested by the Department of Muslim Religious and Cultural Affairs to close their respective institutions until further notice. An agreement was signed to construct a passenger terminal under the Phase 2 of the Bandar Naika International Airport. The agreement was signed between Airport and Aviation Services Company and Thais Corporation. The terminal will be built to enhance capacity due to the increase of passenger numbers and the workload of the airport. The Airport and Aviation Services Company said that the new terminal will be built with all the modern facilities. 35 billion rupees will be spent on this project which is expected to be completed within 36 months. Political sources say that New Lanka Freedom Party led by former parliamentarian Kumara Welgam has joined the Sajid Premadasa led alliance Samagi Jana Balavege to contest the forthcoming general election. After England skipper Joe Root revealed they won't be shaking hands with their Sri Lankan counterparts in the upcoming two-match test series, the England Cricket Board have gone a step further and asked players to refrain from any unnecessary public engagements on the tour. The two teams are scheduled to play two tests in Sri Lanka, with the first test in Gold starting March 19th and second test in Colombo starting March 27th. The ECB urged players to avoid taking selfies and signing autographs for fans amid coronavirus outbreak which has gripped the entire globe. It is a different team that we've brought this time around. Um, we're expecting the services to be probably slightly different and we're quite open-minded about what to expect. Uh, but ultimately it gives opportunity to some of the other guys to, to show what they're capable of. Young guys that have probably not played much cricket in these conditions before, so these warm games are going to be vitally important for us, making sure we get as much out of them as possible and you know, take as much of those learnings into the games. But when the guys have played, they've generally put their hands up and they've uh, put in some strong performances, so they'll be full of confidence and, and ready to show everyone what they can do out here and be absolutely ready for, for goal. And if it gets taken out of our hands, then so be it. But ultimately, we're here to play Test cricket, we're here to play this series and very much looking forward to it. So until told otherwise, we'll, we'll just focus on it. With that, we end ITN News. Take care and have a pleasant day.